Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the European Nightcrawler Only Bins. Now I've had them sitting out, trying to dry out for a little over a week now. Um, also hoping to reduce the springtail population. The dryness is going slowly. That's one of the things that once they get the castings get too wet, Sometimes you're just really hard pressed to get them dry again, as is the case here where this is very much like cookie dough. In some cases down deeper it's even more than that, it's wetter than that. Looks like we still have a copious amount of springtails in here. Got some cocoons right there. Looking to see if I've got any food. Gotta love European night crawlers. Look at those bad boys, huh? They are pretty. And this is the vertical bin, not the horizontal bin. And we see how nice they are. Okay. Well, the bin is definitely got too much moisture in there. Yeah, for sure. Not seeing any remnants of the food that I put last time. Nothing at all. I continue to underestimate them and what they will do during the summertime. But yeah, those are some good worms. I had time to go fishing. I know. People are like, they're your babies. Well, they're also worms. All right, let me get them some neem cake. See if I can't help out a little bit. At the very least, it's something to eat. I'm not really sure what nutrients are in there. Anybody knows what kind of nutrients are in with the neem cake? Definitely nitrogen stuff. Um, let's see what we give them to eat. They can have bananas and tea bags and paper towel. Considering how wet it is, I really don't want to overfeed them. Um, that could lead to anaerobic conditions very quickly. So I am sort of underfeeding them right now. I'm trying to get this dried out. Um, I might end up having to do what I've done previously, which is to do kind of a um, quick light migration and then rinse the castings. It doesn't happen in the winter. It just happens, you know, in the spring and the summer. I have a humidity problem here in the basement. All right, let me go get the horizontal bin. Alrighty, here is the horizontal bin. I can still see quite a bit in the way of uh, springtails. Um, didn't show it off camera, but when I picked this up off the ground, there was worms underneath of it. So I'm almost wondering if the population density is getting too high and I need to do something about that. Since I didn't really know which worms they escaped or which bin the worms escaped from, I didn't put them back in here. I put them in the big boy. But I, I do suspect that they were European night crawlers. They were pretty good sized worms. But since I am trying to keep these separated, um, didn't want to put them in with not the right kind. Alright, I don't know what I fed them last time, but I'm not seeing anything but avocado. Um, so, let me get some of the neem cake and get these guys treated. I 
have to wonder, these seem to be getting redder, for lack of a better word. That or my European night crawlers now have red wigglers in them. I'm not really that great at figuring these things out. If you uh, have an opinion on that, let me know. But, uh, I don't know, seems like European night crawlers. There might be some red wigglers in there. I don't know. I do not know. This one probably just laid a cocoon. Look at how red its glutellum is. And then get these like cherry red worms. I mean, that seems like a, a red wiggler to me, don't you think? It's got like clitellum. I don't know. Pretty zippy. He's not a blue worm though, because you can see his clitellum. All right. Well, let's get these guys some food, and then uh, give me your opinion below on if you think it's time to start harvesting. It's just too wet. I'm not sure there's going to be anything I can do about this to get this to dry out this time of year. I might as well just harvest it and, you know, start over. I actually have a couple of bins that are ready to have worms put in them that have been uh, pre-staging or, or what have you. So uh, let me know. I mean, they seem healthy and stuff, and they do like the red. Nope. They do like the neem cake, and they do like the wet. Um, but right now, I just I think it's too wet, and I just don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do to get that dried out. So maybe I should just start feeding at one end, and maybe we'll move some over next time. Looks like they're going to get a banana, a potato, more avocado. I'll just cover them back out. Put that avocado over there. A lot of my food is frozen and that was the closest thing I had. I didn't want to put anything frozen in such a small bin they might not be able to get away from it. Um, but here's another example of a, a cocoon that's probably pretty close to hatching. You know it's that Werther's caramel candy color when it's about ready. Yep. Well. Okay guys, well that's it for the European Nightcrawlers. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumb up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you don't want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.